Do yeah. you buy into the younger Dryas overhunting theory? So if you look at what happened kind of globally, especially in North America with large megafauna, there are a couple trends. You do see, generally speaking globally, that the rise and in introduction of early man and anthropologic effects from those people in these different pockets did, you do see an inverse relationship to populations of these other large megafauna, which kind of makes sense, right? You go somewhere, you're like, oh, big fat animals, I should kill them and eat them, right? Like what we did with the bison when, you know, we kind of went west, right? But at the same time, there's a lot of data, and I go back to like the avi lobe, you know, you can't ignore the data. And as more and more data has come out with this, you see that there was definitely some type of event, you know, 12,800 years or whatever it mm -hmm. was that caused this. So I'm a believer that, you know, early man, or at least some version of early man, if there have been previous versions, did drive some species to extinction because we see that today. And so I think it's not too hard to extrapolate that happened yesterday. But I do think that there were massive global, even if they're just regional things that, that caused it. So I think the more and more data that are coming out about the younger driest kind of impact theory, I think we're gonna to continue to see more and more data that come out of it because mm -hmm. it was heresy, you know, 15 years ago. Oh, you